Hey guys and welcome back. So in this video we are going to be discussing question 22 from the programming challenge which is in the link description below. So question 22 says ask the user to enter their first name and their surname. Join them together without space between and convert them to lowercase. Then display the name and the length of the whole name. Alright guys, so first things first, let's get an input saying user first is equals to input of enter your first name. Alright, and then we can say user second or user surname. So that first name. Your surname is equals to input of enter your surname. All right. So the new keyword keyword we are going to be introducing in this program would be dot replace. All right. I'll tell you how that's used in the code in a bit. All right. So first things first, we need to combine user first and users user user first name and user surname, right? So we can say user name is equal to user first name plus user second or user surname. Alright. And then we can take the let's let's run and check it out if it works or not. So first name, let's say Raj, last name data. So that's okay. So we can say user name is Raj data without space. All right. But what if what if they added a space? So something like well, something like first name Raj space and data. So let's say user name. There's a space in between. However, we don't want the space, and that's where the dot replace method comes in. So we can say username no space is equals to username dot replace brackets, and then we say replace. So we put the we put the thing which we want to replace over here. And then we put over here what we want to be what we want to replace. So we want to replace a space with no space. Or since I have an A in my name, I can say I want to replace an A with suppose I. So that's how it works. We want to replace the space with no space. Alright, so once you do that, what well, what we want to do is that find the length of the no spaced username. So we can say username len with capital L equals to len len of username no space. And then finally we can print we can say number of characters in comma username is then we can say username length let's check this out if it works or not draw space data so number of characters in source data is 10 there you go however this code has a lot of variable assigning and we want to make our code as efficient as possible right so we can cut this code down by saying username so we can say username is equals to so we can copy this right then we can put braces around it and say dot replace 
So we want to replace a space with a little space. And then finally, we can put a bracket around the whole thing and say length of the whole thing. So we can clearly just get rid of the whole variable assignment over here. And just assign it to one variable called username. All right. So, however, username is a number now. So let's say, let's say that's let's call that username length, right? And then we can say username is equals to just that, this part. Now we can say, yeah, that's all good. Let's run this and check it out. Enter your first name, so our space, data, and then 